What's up guys, I'm Robbie Nishida. Uh, I am a former Formula Drift uh, competitor and driver. Currently one of the judges for the Formula Drift Japan series and also the newest judge for the Formula Drift USA series for the 2020 season. Um, I will explain a little about the tracks that we have and the layouts in the Formula Drift Japan series. So everybody probably knows what uh, Fuji Speedway is. It's probably one of the biggest tracks they have in Japan and also is one of the rounds for the Formula Drift Japan series. And it's actually the biggest track. Um, the track is really nice. The facility is just outrageous. Everything is huge. Um, the whole track is big. Um, we probably only use maybe one eighth, one tenth, one twelfth of the track um, for the round. So um, looking at it from the uh, judging stand, um, the initiation area you can't see because it's so far out. So we have cameras out there and it's also hidden behind trees. Sitting in the driver's seat, um, when you start, leave the start line, um, or the start chicane, um, it's a slight right going, going into the turn. Now you're gonna go and uh, make a right-hander turn. A lot of cars go shooting off the left side because they have too much traction um, and they understeer um, because too much grip on the rear. Uh, a lot of cars go off course on the left side but um, it's a right hand turn the first uh, outer zone is on the left side it's not super long but it's really hard because it's on a straightaway so the car has to kind of actually go through it as much as possible after you pass the first outer zone you got the second outer zone where it's on the right side now you have to make a quick transition and also have a lot of angle in this part where a lot of drivers can use a lot of angle and throw their car use that angle to start braking for uh, what's coming up next which is the inner clip one and the it's i don't know if it's like a uh, off camber uh, road or, or pavement, but it's a little weird when you're driving on it. But after you pass the second outer zone, making sure that you uh, fill that zone as well, you have to quickly go on the inner zone or inner uh, clip. If you miss that inner clip, it's kind of uh, hard to dig yourself out to go out to the third outer zone, which is going to be the last part of the track right before the finish line. So the key is obviously the line is going to be really hard. It's a uh, left outer. Um, well, left outer zone, right outer zone, inner clip, and then outer zone on the right side as well too. So um, it's very simple, but yet technical. <laughs> 